Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at the Discord link plugin for Minecraft. The Discord link plugin allows us to link our groups inside of Discord with our groups inside of Minecraft, and also allowing players to link their account to your Discord server. You can also prevent players from walking or even joining your server if they didn't link their Discord yet. The Discord link add-on requires the Essentials X Discord add-on, and this again requires the Core Essentials X plugin. So just to get this working, we are going to need quite a few plugins. Looking at my plugins folder, you can see I have Essentials X, Essentials X Discord, the link add-on, lock perms to manage our permissions, and also Vault, and this is needed for our groups in game. Normally, we would also add the Tabex plugin, but in this tutorial, we will focus on making the connection between our Discord server and our Minecraft server. In an upcoming tutorial, we will dive more in-depth into Essentials X and the Discord add-on itself. Let's first of all go to the developers page for Discord. You can find the link in the description. Here we can create a new application, give the application a name so you know exactly what is what, and then let's click on create. Then we want to copy the application ID. In my case, I'm going to paste it inside of a text document. If you want to, you can add a icon to the bot. I'm going to skip this for now and enable presence intent, server members intent, and also the message content intent. Let's uncheck that this is a public bot and then let's save our changes. So let's reset our token. Let's also copy this. On the official page, they now tell you to just go here and it will allow you to add the bot. For me, I get a error. I will show you what this error is. If I click on authorize, it tells me the installation type is not supported. If we set the install type, enable guild install and install link set this to none because it tells us we cannot have the default link. If we now try again, this way we are allowed to add the bot to our server. I'm going to select the proper Discord server from the dropdown and then click on continue. Make sure I leave everything checked and then click on authorize. We can see we now have the essentials bot added in our members list, but it's currently not online yet. So let's fix this. We can close this. Let's go to our essentials Discord and open up the config.yml. The first thing we see here is the token for our bot. We have this copied. So let's copy our token, paste it in between here, and that should be step one. Then we need to provide the ID for our server. This is simple as long as you have developer mode enabled. Just right click on the server and select copy server ID. If you don't see this option, go to your user settings. Then under advanced, you can enable developer mode. With our server ID copied, let's paste that over here. Then it tells us to provide a invite link. Let's go to our server and then click on invite people. We can then edit our link, make sure it never expires and it doesn't have any limits. Optionally, we can also grant a membership. Let's leave this disabled for now. Let's generate a new link and then let's copy this invite link. And then let's replace that link or invite code over here. This way players will automatically get the proper Discord invite link when trying to link their Discord with your Minecraft server. We will only focus on the connection for now. I am going to change these two channels over here though. For the general channel, I'm going to copy the channel ID and then replace both these over here. You could separate them. For these demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use the same channel for both. Let's save and exit, and then let's restart our server. Next time, we will just reload Essentials X. For now, I'm just going to restart. And I'm also going to join the server. We now get a message saying the server has started. Our bot is online. If we join the server and we say something, you can see that this is now also relayed inside of our Discord channel. So that connection is working properly. There are more features and settings that we will look at in a upcoming tutorial. Let's for now continue with setting up Discord link. Let's operate ourselves. So I'm going to say Lockperms editor to open up the editor and make a new group. Let's copy this over in game. There we go. So now under groups, I'm going to add a new group. Let's call this VIP with a weight of one. The parent is default. Let's add this group. And then let's also add these changes to the server. Let's then go inside of our Discord link folder and find the config.yml. Let's first look at the link policy. By default, this is set to none, meaning if the player has not linked their Discord, there are none or no restrictions. The two options you have is freeze and kick. This makes sense depending on how you have configured your servers. 
if you only have one server automatically kicking them will make it very hard for them to be able to link their Discord. But if you have multiple servers, you could, for example, kick them from a specific server, send them back to the lobby, and inside of the lobby, they would then be able to link their Discord, and then they could join the server. Depending on what you like, or if you only have one server, you might want to freeze players instead of kicking them. This way, they will stand still on the server, and they have to link their Discord before they can continue playing. Depending on the type of server, and depending on how you have things configured, this might be something that you want. We have a few options for blocking specific things. The main things that I want to look at is groups and roles. So let's first of all look at groups. We have our VIP group. And when someone is inside of the VIP group, I want to give them a VIP role. So let's create that role. Call this VIP as well. Let's give this a yellow or goldish or orange color. Let's save this. And then we can copy the role ID. And this will allow us to say, when someone is inside of the VIP group, give them this Discord role. Let's remove admin for now, because we're not adding another. And let's ignore the other way around for now. Let's save and exit. Let's go to TabX Academy and add ourselves to the VIP group. Before we do that, I'm going to run ESS reload instead of reloading the complete server again. Then I'm going to push these changes to the server, adding myself to the VIP group. And now we should link our Minecraft to our Discord. So let's do link and then Tabax Academy. And let's type this out because I don't think we can copy this. So 0 y 4 let's copy this. And then inside of our server, let's do link and then our code. Successfully linked your account. Our roles, oh, our automatically VIP. Let's remove ourselves from the group and apply the changes. It will not automatically sync inside of Discord. It takes five minutes by default. And then under config, you can find here, resync delay five. And it says here, this is in minutes. Let's change this to one. Safety changes. Let's do reload again. Did reloading ESX already do it? No. Okay, so let's wait about a minute and see if it automatically updates our roles. After about a minute, you can now see that it automatically removed me from the VIP role because we have the remove roles set to true. If you want to do it the other way around, we can also add somebody to a Minecraft group if they have a specific Discord role. I hope this was helpful. If you would like us to discover something in particular for the upcoming Discord tutorial, please leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.